Perfect timing. <laughs> well, what a dream. He was so charming and handsome. I hope I get to meet someone like that at school. Ayano, uh, hurry up. You're gonna be late on your first day. I know, I'm up. It would be great to have a romance at school at last. No one was good enough. But that boy last night seemed perfect. Huh? Ow! I'm sorry. Are you alright? Here, let me help you up. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Oh my god. It's him! You're not hurt, are you? I feel so bad running into you. I'm totally fine. That's a relief. I was really worried for a moment. Well, I've got to get going or I'll be late for class. Oh, of course. School. <laughs> See you around. Bye-bye. This is destiny. Well, well. What a surprise. Will history repeat itself? I can't believe you were late again. I wasn't. I made it before the bell rang. I wanted to walk to school together. I'm sorry. We can walk home together. Damn right we will. And you will have to meet me at lunch on the school rooftop. Huh? Why? Don't question me. Just meet me. And don't be late. Okay. Fine. I'll meet you. Good. We best get to class. Let's go. Yeah. Who the hell was she? <laughs> Who's this? How strange. I'm glad you came. I was curious. Who are you? And how'd you get my number? Collecting information about the students at the school is... my hobby. It's earned me the nickname Infochan. My specialty is uncovering people's darkest secrets. So getting your number was an easy task. Darkest secrets, huh? Prove it. Let's hear a secret about someone from this school. This morning, on her way to school, Ayano Aishi bumped into her Prince Charming and fell in love on the spot. How could you possibly know that? Like I said, it's my specialty. I plan to become a journalist when I leave the school, so I'm honing my skills here while I can. That's nice. What do you want from me? I'd like to share some information with you. The girl you saw talking to your senpai this morning was Osana Najimi. As you have already guessed, she's had a huge crush on senpai for a long time. She plans to confess her love on Friday under the cherry tree one week from now. And senpai is not one to turn down a love confession. If she confesses to him, he will say yes. The cherry tree is known to bind those who fall in love under it together forever. How cliché. Why would you tell me this? Cliché indeed, and not a good story. You see, I'm the president of the newspaper club. Sadly, no one reads my newspaper. Even though I pour my soul into it, there just aren't enough exciting things going on in school other than who gossiped about who or who wore an ugly dress over the weekend. Typical school drama for you. Exactly. If there was a bit more drama going on in this school, I could write more interesting articles. 
If something tragic happens to Asana before Friday, she won't be able to steal Senpai away from you, and I'll have a juicy story for my newspaper. What are you saying? Are you telling me to hurt Osana for your benefit? No, of course not. I'm not saying you should hurt her. I'm saying you should kill her. Kill her? That's right. If a death were to occur at school, everyone would want to hear about it, and I'll be the one giving it to them. Except for the identity of the killer, of course. I would never tell a soul about your involvement. It would be even better if you killed a few other students. Just imagine how terrified the students would be if random girls started popping up dead. The more fear you can inflict on the students, the more they will come to my newspaper for answers, and the more successful I become. Of course, if you killed everyone at the school, no one would read my newspaper, so don't go too wild. <laughs> You're insane. And you fell in love with someone you bumped into on the streets. You're not normal either. No, you don't understand. I saw Senpai in my dreams. That means our meeting was fate. We belong together. It's, it's our destiny. Oh, I don't doubt that for a second. You'd be willing to do anything to be with your Senpai, wouldn't you? Yes, anything. Then you'd have no problem killing Osana-chan, right? I'm sure you could. Just consider my proposal. But come Friday, Osana will be confessing her love to your dear senpai. Friday. I'll be going now. I've got articles to write. I'll see you later. I have to get rid of her by Friday? I wonder how I should do it.